Hi guys, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by. Today I will be doing a first impressions video of the new fragrance which just launched from Victoria Beckham. It is called 2150 Reverie or Daydreams. And also I will be doing a little bit of an unboxing. I am filming with my glasses today because my contact lenses did not come. I forgot, you know, that we had a holiday this week. So um, the contact lenses are delayed. However, I thought, what the hell? I mean, it's a bit bothersome with filming with the glasses because I do have these uh, blue light, blue ray <laughs> lenses. So I am not filming with the ring light because this can be a bit bothersome. So the lighting will be a bit different today. Anyway, my box did come from Victoria Beckham and I have torn into this. Of course, I had to play a bit with the fragrance and wear it but this is what the Victoria Beckham boxes looks like I mean it's the same type of paper wrapping and this is the new fragrance inside and I did get let me see this is all that I have in here she always sends this pouch whether or not you order makeup or just an eyeliner everyone gets one of these bags and also I did receive these sample cards from the other three perfumes I do have a review of all three of these fragrances uh, on my channel I will link it to this video and also there is a sample card of the new one which like I said it's called 2150 Reverie. There is also an advertising card about her new concealer by the way which is I believe 2.4 milliliters. I have not gone anywhere near this one. I absolutely love Victoria Beckham makeup. I have a lot of it but the concealer, the price point for 2.5 milliliters and um, I have not picked up that one. Anyway, this is the packaging of Reverie, which by the way, it means daydreams. And this is how the fragrance looks inside. And this is the fragrance. Guys, Victoria Beckham packaging, it is so posh, so luxurious. When I first saw these bottles, I actually thought that it was tin or plastic but this it is actually glass just a quick description of the fragrance it says a sensory seduction a far away fantasy the grounding essence of earth victoria beckham extracts the luxuriant ambience of the java night in the memory of 2150 Reverie, the grassy scent of tobacco leaves carried by candles in the tropical evening wind. The plush trace of plum on the lips of another, the earthy rawness of vanilla pots and tonka bean blending with the cedar wood of the land. Like I said, I have worn this fragrance. I am wearing it at the moment. I do have the dry down on my skin, but I am calling this a first impressions because I have not worn this fragrance for more than a week. 2150 Reverie. This fragrance has top notes of tobacco leaves. The heart note, it is only listed as plum. And the base, it is tonka bean, vanilla, and cedar wood. Same as all of her other fragrances, these fragrances were created from the memories that Victoria Beckham had when she was courting her husband or a lot of the secret rendezvous that they had 
prior to making their relationship public. So this one, it is about a tropical rendezvous with David at a remote dinner in a remote part of Java, surrounded by the vanilla vines. I mean, her fragrances are amazing. And Sweet 302, it is by far my favorite fragrance from Victoria Beckham and also Portofino. Those those two fragrances are phenomenal. She said that this fragrance is a dark rough vanilla and it transports her to a night in Java where delicious earthy scents were in the air. Her marketing jargon, it is always tops, but honestly, it does fit the fragrances unlike what we get from a lot of other fragrance houses. So here we go. The opening of this fragrance, it is simply listed as tobacco leaves. The opening to my nose, it is very soft. Normally fragrances with tobacco or where tobacco is in the top note, it is normally a bit of an aggressive, strong opening. However, the opening of this fragrance, it is quite soft. There is no blast of tobacco. This is a blend of tobacco and vanilla. The tobacco leaf or tobacco in the opening it is quite muted. It is a soft, sweet tobacco fragrance mixed also with a sweet vanilla. This is a beautiful opening. It is calming. It is creamy and at the same time very inviting. Honestly, this is not what I expected because tobacco is listed as the only note. I was expecting a blast of hard tobacco because it says it is a dark rough vanilla. However, it is absolutely not the case. The opening, it is beautiful, inviting and soft. Also, at this point, it is not a very dense foody fragrance. The opening, you could say it is very airy, very dreamy. It is a warm fragrance, but at the same time, it is not cloying and it is not dense. It is not overtly fresh, but it is also not aggressive. This smells very posh, very rich, very expensive. It is a very silky fragrance. This is not your typical vanilla tobacco fragrance. It is different and this is what I love about Victoria Beckham fragrances. Her fragrances are quite pricey but it is always her own DNA and this is why I ordered this blind because I said I would take a chance because her fragrances are so different. The opening of this fragrance, it does linger and it is so beautiful. It does allow one to enjoy the opening, this beautiful mix of vanilla laced with tobacco. As the fragrance progresses, the tobacco note, it does get a bit more pronounced, but it never overpowers the other notes in the fragrance. Right in the middle of the fragrance, some sweet notes do start to appear. It is not fruity. It is just a very nice, delicate sweetness which works very nice with the tobacco and the vanilla. The vanilla, it is listed vanilla and tonka bean in the base of the fragrance, but when the fragrance is sprayed, there is already a very nice, creamy, delicate vanilla aroma. 2150 Reverie or Daydreams. Guys, this fragrance, it is so sexy. It is the same sexiness in Sweet 302. It is sexy, but at the same time, it is not vulgar. It is not loud. This is just a very classy, 
sophisticated fragrance. There is a lot of vanilla, there is tobacco, there is plum. It is a bit coma, but it is not a foody coma fragrance. If you are expecting something yummy, foody, extremely delicious, this is not the fragrance. I can see myself wearing this fragrance in the office and especially at night time. In the heart note of the fragrance, plum is listed as the only note, but some of the sweetness, it also comes from the tobacco, and the tobacco mixed with this fruit accord and still some vanilla. And in the heart note, the vanilla starts to turn. It is not this fluffy, airy vanilla anymore it starts to gain depth and it becomes deeper. When the fragrance starts to transition from the heart note to the base note, there is a bit of a powdery accord. It is not very strong. It is not like powder puff powder. It is a bit of a silky powdery note. It is at this stage that the tonka bean really appears and then the vanilla becomes deep it starts to resemble more of this dark vanilla that she is talking about. I do not sense very strong earthy accords in this fragrance. It is just that the tonka bean and the vanilla note in the base, it is very deep. The fragrance gains depth and also structure. It is very beautiful. The transformation that this fragrance makes, it is really a niche fragrance where you can enjoy a lot of the notes, especially the vanilla. The vanilla in the opening, it is very light, very fluffy. You can say a playful vanilla, but towards the end of the heart of the fragrance, where it starts really to settle on the skin, then the vanilla changes mixed with the tonka bean and it is laced with a bit of tobacco. This is not a tobacco forward fragrance. The tobacco note, it is quite decent and enjoyable. When the fragrance is in the base note, there is a bit more tobacco, but all of the notes, they complement each other. There is never what you can say is a very strong, dominant note. All of the notes are always there in the blend. 2150 Reverie. There is not a very strong woody accord. This is not a woody tobacco fragrance. The cedar, it adds freshness, it adds a bit of structure. It is absolutely beautiful, sophisticated. The fragrance, it simply flows and there are no jagged edges. There were not any notes which bothered me where you can say I am waiting for this one to go away or for this one to take over. It is a beautiful, creamy blend of a fragrance. I mean, this smell of the earth, which is in the marketing jargon, I did not smell any strong earthy accord. In terms of gender, I see this as a unisex fragrance and the manner in which this fragrance is formulated, I think the skin chemistry will also play a role. The opening, it is soft. However, when this settles, I would say on the masculine skin chemistry, I can see it pulling a bit more in that direction. It is not the type of fragrance where I would say it is too feminine, it is too masculine, it is right in the middle and uh, yeah, skin chemistry will play a role with this one. Reverie is just as nicely formulated as all of the other Victoria Beckham fragrances. I do remember when Victoria Beckham came out with her fragrances and I looked at the price point, I was thinking, 
is this woman nuts? But when I got my nose on the fragrances and the quality of the fragrances, the packaging, everything was luxurious and tops, I did not mind spending my coin on those fragrances. She does have sample packs on her website and this is definitely worth buying. When I first bought her fragrances, I simply bought a sample pack of all three fragrances. The 50 milliliter is costing 200 euros and the 100 milliliter is 290. Actually, I was a bit annoyed. I got this in the pre-ordering. I waited a couple hours to get this. I really wanted the 100 milliliter, but it was already sold out. So I did pick up the 50 milliliter. In terms of longevity, this fragrance lasts and lasts on my skin. It is not a very loud fragrance. This is not what I would say is bismuth. When you are wearing this fragrance, it is not the type of scent where people might think, you know, you bathed in a vat of fragrance this morning. This is what you would call a decent fragrance. It has normal projection sillage. However, I would say that the longevity, it is eight hours or so. I have not had this for very long, so um, it has not, you can say, rested a lot. And I don't think when it comes to Victoria Beckham fragrances, maceration will play a big role. It might get a bit more potent with time. This did happen with my Valentino Born in Roma Gold. When I got it, it was not very strong and I thought this fragrance could have been a bit stronger, but after I think I have had it for four months, it has gotten quite a bit stronger and it does project a lot more. The projection of this fragrance, it is normal. I think this is absolutely gorgeous and it is worth the price point due to the quality of the fragrance and also the packaging. It's different. It's just marvelous. Honestly, all of the products from Victoria Beckham are just absolutely well formulated, high quality. The line, it is pricey, but I think the only thing I have gotten from Victoria Beckham that I was a bit iffy about, it was the eyebrow pencil. And I know a lot of people love it, but I really have to draw my eyebrows every day. So the pencil did not last me very long. But the product from Victoria Beckham that I love the most, these are her single shimmer eyeshadows and I have the one in Midnight, and this is my absolute favorite blue eyeshadow. I always use this as a one and done, and they last forever. I have had this for such a long time, and it looks like I have barely used it. Also, these lipsticks are amazing. The color Moody, it is perfect for fall and these lipsticks they do stay put sorry for this my perfume friends but i just had to say this about her makeup it's pricey it's beautiful and the fragrances are not any different i will be wearing the hell out of this in the fall should anything change i will come back and let you guys know about it but my review of this fragrance it is uber positive this is a beautiful fragrance thank you guys for watching and sorry about the glare of my <laughs> glasses but um i thought what the hell i have filmed with glasses before i did get a few little complaints that it is blinding but my contact lenses will not be here earliest 
for another week and I wanted to get this review up because I know a lot of you are thinking about this fragrance. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you guys again on my channel very soon. Send me some comments. Let me know if you have any Victoria Beckham fragrances and what you think about them. Tschüss!